Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been super long since I've made videos and I'm trying so hard to get back on track and actually make 2018 the year that I stick to YouTube and make videos consistently. So here's the deal. I have some goals and changes for this channel. The changes are going to be me uploading Monday through Friday, hopefully. We'll see how this goes workload wise. If I can record several videos a day or two in a week, like spend two days a week recording videos and the rest of the week um, editing and scheduling uploads, then I will do five days a week. But as of right now, I'm currently creating batch videos. I'm making a bunch of talk through videos that I can easily record and then upload um, throughout the entire month of December. <sighs> so that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing multiple videos in a day. So if you see me in the same outfit or if I'm wearing makeup, which I'm not right now, if I'm wearing makeup in a video, that looks the same, it's because it is. Um, don't judge me. I have five kids and a husband, and I don't have a whole lot of time, so that is what I'm going to be doing. So if I do decide to change clothes or makeup looks, we'll see. Um, so you might see five, six, seven videos in the same outfit, same place, same hair, same everything. Although my hair pretty much stays the same. I straighten it occasionally or throw it up in a ponytail or a bun um so the changes are i'm gonna be making videos of every different kind um i'm gonna be doing adoption update videos foster update videos i'm gonna do um videos all pertaining to our adoption and fostering um like what our first experience with a foster child was and what we could do better, um, what are myths and misconceptions for fostering or adopting, um, or the foster care system in general. Um, I'm going to do beauty related videos and I'm going to do financial related videos such as our getting out of debt update journey thing. Um, one of the things I want to talk about is why I quit cosmetology school. Um, and then, you know, with it being December, I want to upload videos that are pertaining to things like holiday stocking stuffer ideas, Christmas gift ideas, last minute things for Christmas. And, you know, with January around the corner, I want to create some videos regarding, um, New Year's resolutions and what we're going to do in 2018 and what my goals are for this channel. By the end of 2018, I hope to have like 5,000 subscribers. If I have more than that, fantastic. So if you want to like, share, and or subscribe, you know, that'd be fantastic. Um, if not, I understand. I'm not everyone's cup of tea and that's fine. I'm still learning and trying to find my um, camera presence. I'm not the greatest and I struggle with a lot of things like making eye contact but that's just been me my entire life so forgive me if I'm not making contact with you via this camera. It is kind of weird talking to a camera when there's nobody else around. Um, but hey, nobody else is around, so no one else knows I'm doing it. Except for my three-year-old. Um, basically, what I hope for this channel to become is... I don't see a lot of natural red-headed YouTubers. There are a few, and I'll have to get back to you on which ones. And I will make a video regarding just YouTubers that are specifically redhead. And that, you know, do makeup for fair-skinned red-headed people such as myself. Um, but my goal is to 
eventually make this a living. Um, as a stay-at-home parent, I don't bring in a paycheck um, for a job that I am doing. The only thing I receive is a um, a child support payment for my ex-husband for my oldest three children, and that is for their necessities. Um, so, you know, I want to be able to earn an income while still being home with my children and raise them and dedicate my time to them because that's what I am as a mother. I'm, I'm their mom and, you know, we have young children. Our oldest is 13 and our youngest is 3 and I just want to be home with them and I want to be able to provide them with, you know, all their educational things inside the home. Like teaching them how to cook and bake and, you know, how to do laundry because that's a very important skill in life. Um, you know, just teaching them everyday normal things, how to treat others, how to, we just did a science fair project of how to create electricity with a, um, a bicycle, a battery, a power converter, inverter, sorry, a power inverter, and battery charger, like, that was science fair for my oldest. Um, he's in all honors classes and, you know, we just, we pride, we pride our children on getting good grades and, and doing their best and learning new things and not just sitting in front of the TV, vegging out, watching movies or TV shows or playing with YouTube on the Xbox or playing Xbox or video games. You know, we try to engage our children in, um learning new things like our our eight-year-old is doing engineering club after school our ten-year-old does band she plays the flute she played the violin a few years ago um, she also sings in the chorus um, we have very active children in after-school activities our oldest is in an after-school leadership program He's also in FCCLA. He was also part of student government last year. So, I mean, we definitely have active kids. We don't try to, like, keep them at home all the time. Um, we do enjoy them taking part in such things. So, I still want to be able to earn an income and help my husband support our family and be able to give my kids a vacation. We have never taken a vacation as a family. Um, and the last trip that my husband and I went on was to a marriage retreat, a credo marriage retreat when he was still in the military. And at the time, our youngest child was our son, Zachary, and he was less than a year old. We went in April of 2013. Um... So, that was a weekend. We left on a Friday and came back on Sunday afternoon. So, we drove from Virginia to Maryland on a Thursday. Stayed with my parents on Thursday night. Got up at the crack of dawn and drove from Maryland to, that was Massachusetts. Yes, to Massachusetts. It took us nine hours one direction and we stayed in this really nice hotel that has a contract with the um the military and um we did the friday night session the saturday session and the sunday session and it teaches you about your spouse's love language and such and how to interact with your spouse in a positive way. Um, and it teaches you about being an introvert and an extrovert. I'm an absolute introvert, so I struggle with things like this, like this right now. Um, but, you know, being able to help my husband support our family would be phenomenal. We have a lot of debt to get out of, um, having two homes, two mortgages. Um, we have one vehicle loan, which is... It's a minimum payment. It's like $127 for a family vehicle. Um, 
And then like we have credit cards. And I have student loans. And we have a personal loan. A loan for our water softening system. And I think that's it. But either way, like we have a lot of debt. Last time I checked, it was pretty close to the $410,000 that we originally had. I'll link the video to my original video regarding our getting out of debt journey. Um, and then I'll link somewhere down below the video I just made regarding why I've been MIA and that actually touches on why we are not currently doing our journey to get out of debt. Um, it's mostly because of the whirlwind spring and summer and rest of the year that we've had. So um, not only would bringing in an income from creating YouTube videos, would it give us income to get out of debt? It would give us the opportunity to take our kids on vacation, pay for their college education, um, you know, finish our house. Um, our house is fine, really, it, it is. Um, but when we first bought our house, our basement was basically a blank, can blank canvas. We had new flooring put down, we had the walls painted and patched, the ones that had holes in it. Um, we basically did what we wanted to the basement, and now we want to do the exact same thing to the upstairs. We want to change the kitchen, rip it all out, um, change the kitchen, put in new appliances. Um, you know, we bought our house as a short sale, something like almost two years ago. June will be two years. Um, so it's like a year and a half now. And, you know, we just... We just want to be able to live a little more comfortable than what we currently are and we also want to be able to have more time with my husband. He travels a lot for work. He spent three weeks out of the country. He was in the, ne the Netherlands um, about an hour outside of Amsterdam for three weeks for training for work and I was holding down the fort with kids and stressing out the last week because I just wasn't feeling well um didn't matter what was going on in my life I had things to do I had to get up every morning and take care of my kids and get them off to school and we um went to the dentist with my son my son had to have um some cavities filled and he had to have some caps put on um his molars um, but because he's afraid of the dentist, we had to actually have him sedated at the local hospital, and that was a nightmare and a half because he does not handle sedation well. So, you know, there are things that I'd like to do with this channel that will change how our family lives, and it will also allow me to give back to you guys um, by earning an income off of YouTube. I would like to do giveaways when I hit, you know, certain amount of subscribers, birthdays, mother, like every year for my birthday, Mother's Day would be a great time to do a giveaway, um, Christmas, you know, just I would love to give back to others. Um, and that's what my goal is with this channel is to be able to give knowledge to others. Um, I plan on doing some DIYs with, with beauty related items. Um, you know, just, I just want to have fun with this channel and it's, my life is full of different things and I am thankful for all that I have and all the skills and opportunities that I've had already and that I've been given. I just want to do something with my life besides waste it away sitting at home with my kids. You know, I mean, I have high hopes for my life and I hope my kids see that all the hard work that I'm putting into this will eventually pay off and show them that even though I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm 
caring for them and cooking and cleaning and I'm doing the basic necessities for them every day that I'm also doing something else with my life and that they can do more than one thing at a time and still be successful whatever they put their mind to. So that's my hopes and changes and goals for this channel. Now I know YouTube will never make me rich. I don't expect to be rich. I don't expect to have 5,000 followers by the end of um, subscribers, not followers, that's Twitter uh -huh. and Instagram. I don't expect to have 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2018, but I'd love it. I would absolutely love it and I would be doing so much more for you guys than, you know, than I currently am. But the thing is, you'd be doing more for me than, honestly, I'd be doing for, the, for you guys. Because that would just show me that there is someone out there that values something that I have to say and something that I have to teach you. There's many things that I could teach you, like photography, videography, um, and about beauty, being a foster parent, being an adoptive parent if we ever get to adopt, or we, once we find a child to adopt, um, that fits our family dynamic. And... You know, that's really, really what my hopes are for this channel. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.